story recap tier, today I'm going to explain a drama, horror, and sci-fi film called Titan. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. One fateful day, little Alexia decides it will be fun to hum loudly while her father is driving. She also repeatedly kicks his seat, and when he tells her to stop, she removes her seatbelt and gets up. Naturally, her father gets distracted, and he eventually loses control of the car. Alexia is then taken to the hospital, where she immediately receives treatment for her severely injured skull. However, because of the accident, a titanium plate must be placed inside Alexia's head. Later on, Alexia is already well enough to be discharged, so her doctor reminds her mother to always look after her. Then, once she's out of the hospital, Alexia happily hugs and kisses their car. Years later, Alexia grows into a young woman who proudly shows off the scar on her head. Alexia currently works at a car show event where her co-worker, Justin, always watches her. Then, as Alexia begins her shift, she starts dancing on top of a car, leaving those watching her mesmerized. Alexia is famous among the customers too, and after working, she immediately hits the showers with the other girls. There, Alexia finally meets Justin, but she doesn't really stay long and leaves. However, on her way to the parking lot, Alexia notices that a guy is following her. She then quickly gets in her car and tries to leave, but the stranger stops her and asks for an autograph. The guy also asks for a kiss before telling her he loves her, and as Alexia remains quiet, he forcibly kisses her. On the other hand, Alexia decides to kiss him back before stabbing him in the ear with a large hairpin. The man then convulses and starts foaming at the mouth, and it isn't long before he dies. To cover her tracks, Alexia pulls out her hairpin from the stranger's ear takes him inside her vehicle, and once again takes a shower to remove his saliva from her body. Moments later, Alexia is alarmed by a loud banging on the door. She then checks to see who it is, but instead of finding a person, she sees the car from the show earlier and gets inside it. After that, the vehicle starts moving, and Alexia begins to pleasure herself until she finishes. The next day, Alexia wakes up with bruised thighs and dirty underwear. However, she ignores them and proceeds to have breakfast by herself instead of joining her father. She also watches the news about a serial killer on the loose, and when her mother asks how she's feeling, Alexis says her stomach hurts. Alexia's mother then tells her to ask her father to examine her, but the man clearly isn't comfortable around her daughter. One night, Alexia makes out with Justin and gets into an argument with her when she bites the girl's breasts. She then walks away furiously and throws up, noticing that her abdomen is getting big and that she has motor oil in her private parts. Scared and confused, Alexia takes a pregnancy test and discovers she's pregnant. So, out of desperation, Alexia tries to terminate her pregnancy using her large hairpin but fails. She then makes out with Justin once again, and without warning, she stabs the girl to death. As if that isn't enough, Alexia goes on a killing spree and slaughters the other guests she can find at the house party she attended. However, one girl escapes after trying hard to fight for her life. Later on, Alexia returns home and ignores her father as he watches her from the window before burning her bloody clothes. She then lets the house burn too and goes to her parents' room making sure to lock them inside before finally leaving. After that, Alexia hitchhikes on the road and arrives at the airport, where she sees portraits of several missing children. Unfortunately, she also learns that she's wanted for her crimes, so she changes her appearance by cutting her hair, shaving her eyebrows, taping down her breasts and belly, and breaking her nose. Meanwhile, Vincent Legrand goes to the police station after receiving a call that his son Adrian who's disappeared 10 years ago, has finally been found. However, Vincent has missed his child so much that he doesn't allow the authorities to do a DNA test on Alexia, who claims to be Adrian and just takes her home. On their way home, Alexia suddenly gets out of the car and runs, but Vincent eventually catches her. He then promises to kill anyone who'd tried to hurt her before taking her to the fire station where he lives and works also introducing her as his son to one of his colleagues, Rayanne. 
After that, Alexia goes to her room and undresses before resting. But she quickly covers herself up when Vincent suddenly arrives and asks her for her dirty clothes. Alexia isn't sure what to do and kicks Vincent when he tries to touch her. So the old man turns his back on Alexia when she asks him to and lets her remove her pants. Then Alexia immediately locks her door while Vincent is busy going through her stuff and finds her hairpin. Later on, Vincent injects himself with steroids and tries to exercise, only to get frustrated when his aging body fails him. The next day, Vincent quietly returns Alexia's belongings while she sleeps. Then, once Alexia wakes up, she quickly checks her stuff before covering her breasts and belly again. Afterwards, Vincent prepares her for work by putting a metal splint on her nose and hiding her scar with a cap. The other firefighters make fun of Alexia behind her back. So, as the captain, Vincent reminds his men to know their place and tells them to respect his son. While having dinner that night, Vincent notices some stains on Alexia's shirt, which appeared to be motor oil leaking from her breasts. However, Alexia remains aloof and refuses to speak, covering herself with her uniform when Vincent attempts to touch her again. She also tries to leave and take out her hairpin when Vincent makes it clear he won't leave her alone. But the old man begs her to stay before playing some music. Curious, Alexia watches and reluctantly dances with Vincent, who playfully slaps her. Pissed, Alexia pushes and repeatedly punches Vincent before trying to stab him with her hairpin. But he eventually overpowers her. Then, once Alexia calms down, Vincent asks her why she always wants to leave before giving her the keys to the door. Later that evening, Vincent takes some drugs and injects himself with steroids again. However, he feels like that isn't enough, so he picks up the dirty syringe he's already thrown away and injects himself with more steroids. Unfortunately, the foolish decision causes him to overdose. Meanwhile, Alexia finally leaves the fire station and gets on a bus. But she soon returns when she realizes she's left her hairpin. And that's when she finds an unconscious Vincent in the bathroom. Alexia then contemplates killing the captain, but eventually changes her mind. So she shaves her head instead and cradles Vincent's body in her arms. The next day, Alexia goes through Adrian's stuff and finds pictures of the Legrand family. She also tries on Adrian's mother's old dress and hides in the closet when Vincent enters the room. But the old man doesn't get mad at her. Instead, he shows her old photographs of Adrian, wherein the little boy is wearing the same dress she's wearing. Vincent then kisses and hugs Alexia, and she can't help but show him a little bit of affection. Later that day, Alexia goes to an old woman's house with Vincent and Rayanne, where she witnesses them intubate a man. Vincent also teaches Alexia how to perform CPR on the spot, which upsets Rayanne since that's his job. They then return to the fire station and on their way there, Rayanne sees Alexia's composite sketch in his phone and asks where she's from. However, Alexia only smiles at him and doesn't answer his question. That evening, Alexia quietly watches and smiles while Vincent is having fun with the other firefighters. However, she quickly gets worried when Rayanne approaches Vincent and asks to talk about her. Luckily for Alexia, Vincent refuses to hear what Rayanne has to say and leaves. Enraged, Rayanne confronts Alexia and tells her to go back to wherever she's from. But Alexia simply ignores him and dances with Vincent. Then, unexpectedly, Alexia finds herself having a good time. One day, Adrian's mother shows up at the fire station to talk to her son. However, Alexia doesn't know how to react and feels awkward when the woman hugs her. They then eat together, and as Adrian's mother asks Alexia some questions, Vincent informs his ex-wife that their son doesn't talk. However, Adrian's mother continues to speak to Alexia, and she even questions Vincent about how he's managed to live next to Adrian's empty room all those years. Because of that, Vincent asks Alexia to give them a minute and tells his ex-wife he won't let her take their son. But the woman clarifies she has no intention of doing that. Meanwhile, Alexia goes to the bathroom and removes her clothes to relieve her itching tummy, showing her body that's covered with stretch marks and long scratches. Then, as she continues to scratch her growing belly, she accidentally punctures it and discovers metal inside, also seeing her finger with motor oil. 
Scared, Alexia punches her belly in the hopes of getting rid of the child inside of her. Then she tries to cover herself again, only to get horrified when motor oil starts leaking from her breasts. On the other hand, Adrian's mother follows Alexia to the bathroom and discovers her secret. However, she chooses not to say a word about it and just warns Alexia to take care of Vincent no matter what happens. That night, Alexia reluctantly helps Vincent in giving himself steroids. However, the old man gets mad at her when she painfully injects the needle, but Vincent quickly apologizes for his outburst. Then, Vincent kisses Alexia and says he'll take care of her and not the other way around. Days later, Rayanne comes to Vincent's aid after the captain accidentally hits his head while on duty. Rayanne then tries to make sure Vincent's fine by asking if he knows his name and Alexia's real identity, but Vincent refuses to answer his question and just walks away. Meanwhile, Alexia waits in the fire truck as the other firefighters hurry to put out the fire in the woods. In the evening, Alexia feels happy upon feeling the movement of her unborn child. Unfortunately, no one can find out about her condition, so she apologizes to her baby as she covers her big belly. Moments later, Vincent enters that bathroom and tells Alexia he doesn't care about who she is and that he'll continue treating her as his son. The two of them then hug each other, and Vincent finally discovers Alexia's secret when her towel accidentally drops on the floor. But instead of getting angry, Vincent picks it up and covers Alexia's body before leaving. One night, the firefighters make Alexia dance on top of a fire truck and get confused when she starts dancing seductively. Alexia doesn't even stop when Vincent arrives, so the captain just walks out due to embarrassment. Later on, Alexia pleasures herself inside one of the fire trucks and breaks down before she starts going into labor. Meanwhile, Vincent spits alcohol on his body and contemplates burning himself. He then proceeds to do it but immediately puts out the fire, while on the other hand, Alexia's belly slowly tears open and reveals metal plates inside. Still, even though she's in pain and undressed, Alexia tries her best to go to Vincent's room. There, she lies beside the old man and tells him she loves him, and Vincent does the same. However, Vincent freaks out when Alexia kisses him on the lips, so he pushes her away and yanks the blanket covering her body, and discovers she's pregnant. Feeling betrayed, Vincent tries to leave, but Alexia begs him not to as she starts feeling the contractions again. She also throws up motor oil on the bed, so Vincent eventually decides to help her. As Alexia gives birth, she finally reveals to Vincent her real name. The old man then encourages her to push harder, and as she does, her scar and belly slowly split open. Shortly after, Alexia gives birth at last, but unfortunately, she dies in the process. Vincent even tries to revive her, but when he realizes there's nothing else he can do, he picks up Alexia's child. Vincent then cradles the child in his arms as he lies beside Alexia's body assuring the baby with a titanium spine that he isn't going anywhere. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.